Winter break is over and UNCW sports are back in action. Welcome back to Seahawks Central Sports. I'm Miranda Fabian. And I'm Will Oaks. We're going to catch you guys up on what's been happening with the men's and women's basketball team and a couple big announcements from the athletic department. So stay tuned, folks, because Seahawks, Seahawks Central, Central sports, sports starts right now. now. In their past 10 games, the men's basketball team has gone 5-5. Five and five. They had some tough losses against talented teams like Louisville, Minnesota, and Ohio, but have strung together three straight wins in conference play, led by team captain Freddie Jackson. Jackson has averaged 19 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists during the win streak, which has earned him the CAA's Player of the Week. Addison Strull and Jordan Talley also made big contribution to the team's success. The Seahawks' next two home games will be January 24th against Towson and January 28th versus Elon. The women's basketball team has gone 4-5 and five in its past nine games, including a victory in the Seahawk Hampton Inn Christmas Invitational. They have started out 2-2 two two in conference play, led by Kelva Atkins and Shatia Cole. The young Lay Seahawks look to build a win streak and work their way up in the conference standings. Their next two home games will be January 22nd against Elon and January 25th versus Towson. The Kansas City Royals Assistant General Manager J.J. Piccolo will be this year's keynote speaker at UNCW's annual Spring Training Banquet for the baseball team. After the Royals' historic run in the 2014 MLB playoffs, Piccolo will have some great insight on what it takes to play at championship level. The Diamond Hawks are extremely excited to host this event on January 17th as they continue to prepare for what should be a successful season starting in February. UNCW has also announced that alumni Megan Novak will be returning as an assistant coach to the women's soccer team. Novak played soccer for coach Paul Kearney until her graduation in 2011. After graduating, she became an assistant coach at American University for three years. Coach Kearney is very excited to have Novak return to the Seahawks, for she is a proven leader and stands for the culture of the team. Welcome home, Coach Novak. Next year, UNCW will be cutting their men's and women's cross-country team, as well as the men's and women's indoor track and field program. Athletic Director Jimmy Bass has stated that all players who are currently on scholarships will continue to be until their graduation dates, and all prospects will be notified and granted releases from their national letter of intent. This decision is unfortunate for the student athletes affected by it, but it will help UNCW athletics in the long term. Well, that's all of our announcements for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next week for more news on UNCW basketball, baseball, and softball. I'm Will Oaks. And I'm Miranda Fabian. Have a great week, Seahawks.